Welcome to the next episode of our Bruca Licona video vlog series. Uh, today I'm next to Arno, he's the guest of this vlog and he is the director of operations. And we are in front of the operations facility. And Arno, what did you prepare today for us? Well, thank you, Urban. Welcome, everybody. So, I haven't prepared anything special today because I want to show you how we are manufacturing our Alicona products here in Austria, in the green heart of Austria in Styria. And so I prepared samples from our local suppliers and we will go through with those samples to see how samples lead to components, components to products and how the workflow is done in these production facilities. And so on the left side you see here our facilities which are used for the individual production cells and on the right side we have the dedicated offices and I would say let's start. Yeah, you, I'm sure you're interested how your products are manufactured here, so let's go. Here you are. So, here we are at our incoming goods department and we need to check every single supplier product in order to achieve our specifications of our measurement products. Uh, Arno, uh, which uh, equipment do you use to ensure this highest quality of our incoming goods? Well, that depends a little bit on the parts we have to check. So for the simple parts, for mechanical parts, machine parts, we are using hand tools as usual. But uh, we also use our own products, for example the Infinite Focus line, to check complex and high accurate parts. So what is with the incoming good now here? Let's see. Part is perfect and ready to go. Part is perfect and ready to go. That's good. the common case. Yes. Let's go to the next step. <laughs> So Arno, where did we end up here now? Well, Urban, I'm very proud of this room here. So this is a clean environment room with a dedicated flow box, ISO class 5. And with this environment, we are able to build optical parts and lenses. So coming back to the part from the incoming good inspection, what is the process here now? Well, usually, you have seen the parts over there, they are inspected, then they come to this area here and then in the first step they have to be cleaned in an ultrasonic bath. Afterwards they get dried in an oven and then they are ready to assemble. Yeah, but Urban, we will not go to further detail because you know, salespeople are not allowed in here usually, so let's go. I know, fortunately, not all areas in production are restricted for sales. So I have been here already, but can you tell us where we are? So here we are in the components area and the team got dedicated cells based on the one piece flow in order to build their parts. So Markus, uh, can you tell us how is the cell organized and uh, how does the uh, workflow looks like for you? Okay, here I got all my tools and the parts, they're nearby me for a high efficiency. I also got here my technical drawings and the guidelines. And if the part was assembled and checked, it goes on stock. Perfect. So Arno, can you uh, bring me now to the next station where I can see how the components are to put together to a big system? Of course. Let's go. at the instrument area where we finalize our sales products. We have dedicated cells for individual products, for example here the micro CMM cell and over there there is the infinite focus cell where we gather the frame and the sensor head. And as you asked before, here are the finalized components ready to use from the components team. So um, here obviously 
we have an order from a micro CMM and what I can see is the configuration is quite complex and you have a very tough delivery date. So how can you ensure with your team here uh, to be able to have such a fast delivery? Well, this can be managed because we have a combined push-pull principle behind our production lines. So the components team is basically working on the sales forecast and is filling up stock. And once orders are coming, the finalization team can build out of the stock those customer-oriented products. So as far as I understand, really the components from the stock are now put together on this tray. And what happens next now? Well, we have to put everything for that order on the tray and then we have to go to our temperature stable measurement rooms where we do the next steps which are the finalization of the instrument and the final acceptance. So, these are our temperature stable uh, measurement rooms based on VDI and they are specified class 2 um, built from Weiss Klimatechnik and here we are doing the final steps for our products. So we have to set up the control server, we need to ensure the latest software versions are installed and then we can start aligning the instrument, we do the calibration steps and after that we can do the final inspection and then the instruments are ready for the customer. Uh, Hannes. I see you're currently working on it, so in which step of the process that Arno explained us are you currently working on? Well, the system is in final acceptance right before shipment and I'm measuring our micro CMM calibration tool. For that I measure two artifacts and the distance between them to validate the calibration of the instrument. Finally, we are here in our warehouse and Hannes did a great job. The instrument is finally accepted, it's packed and now it's ready for shipment and will be picked up by our logistics partners to go to our customers worldwide. Arno, thank you very much for hosting us, for guiding us through your operations facility here in the Brew Calicona headquarters. You're welcome, see you. And if you like our vlog series, please follow us on the YouTube channel and give us a like.